やっていSee for you guys when I'm in wireframe mode. Go solid. Zoom in a little, zoom out. Set my fucking control point. There we go. Platform is always nice, like floating little like islands. So actually, let's not start with the cube. Let's start with the cylinder. Six sides. Wide. Mario for scale. Mario for scale, we're good. Hi, Red, how you doing? I think it's been a bit since I've seen you. How, you, how is the how things? How long has it been? Oh, dang, it's been a while, a while. I just checked Mog. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're doing good. I'm better at Blender now than I was last time I was doing this, which I don't think you were here for. But, uh, look, see? Simple floating platform. It's, it's dead. Actually, hold on. Why is it being like... button am I accidentally press there we go. I want the ledge to be a little grabbable. Keep pressing shift instead of control, I don't know why. Then we squeeze it in. Oh yeah. Okie dokie salamander, have a good lurk. chat to be a little bigger. There we go. Chat's bigger now on my end. Much larger. I don't think the starting platform should be too big. Hi, yo, kid. How's it been? How you doing? And so I half forget about that redeem until like halfway through stream every time. Oh, right. I was gonna rename it to say first, so people will be more likely to click on it. I'll do that right now. Music stop. <laughs> 
This level looks pretty baller. <laughs> it's one cube so far, or one cylinder so far. What do you mean? Another day passes, that's what it's called. It's like this. First, there, I added first to the title. Let's go and let me click on it. What was the button? Someone taught me the button last time, but I forgot. What's the button for like. Uh. Selecting a loop? Like a set of vertices that loop. Yeah. I am okay, Zara. I'm asleep. I have to go to work really early in the morning. Okay, I have a good sleep. Yeah. Also, I think I accidentally pressed a keybind because the object isn't usually highlighted like this. But keybind that I press. Why didn't even highlight when I'm not even touching it? I did a thing that I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, uh, these boxes are the level boundaries. So, that's my sort of artificial limit. Okay, copper. See ya. Uh, I honestly have very few ideas. I, this level could show off the... Because I finally... You know the launch star from Mario Galaxy? I finally did add that. It's fully coded. It works now. So this level could be like a showcase of that. And I have more features I want to add to it, which may not be the smartest idea because it will take me more coding time. But it shouldn't be that hard. So, good. Why is my brain empty right now? Why is the song Why is my playlist all broken? YouTube, why are you so bad at handling everything? You guys hear about the final part in the <laughs> Gerard the Completionist saga? Because I just did. Man, I was giving him such benefit of the doubt. It's insane. Well, up until like the last update I was. This update kind of sealed it. <laughs> why am I why am I dumb right now? Cone. Cone is the best shape for an empty. Such a passive-aggressive apology. It's not even an apology! He's deflecting the whole time! <laughs> it's not even an apology. He doesn't even apologize. Uh, where's the name? I like the name being visible on my empties. A little house here. I don't know why, but I like putting random houses in my level. It, it's just becoming a fucking pattern. <laughs> Orange juice. Wow, oh, you actually fucking guessed it. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on, let me get a picture of a low poly cabin. I like how now, when I Google like low poly things, they're like PlayStation 2 level. 
and GameCube level or like low poly. And I'm like, nah, I'm looking for fucking Nintendo 64 polygons, my guy. <laughs> Just because it's not 30,000 polygons does not make it that low poly. <laughs> I got a picture of a cabin. Cube. God, I keep holding shift today and I don't know why. I've been getting complicated with my houses. I just need a house that looks like a house. A hole. It's a hole. Uh, my brain is forgetting how to fucking. What am I. Settings to? Both. So rusty right now. Not even funny. Oh yeah, this is how I make houses. At least when they're low poly. loud when it's at the lowest it can be. I'm gonna turn on my entire headset. Oh, I thought that was a TTS. I was waiting for it to say it. It was just a... Do the interior then. I, you know what I've been doing too much of? I've been doing too much like using the room system, which makes so that when you walk in to another place, certain things load and unload. But for houses, you should really like if it's going from outside to inside, you should definitely just go to areas instead, which are like super loading zones. Do that. Oh. So since this is in area two, it's not going to be visible here. It's going to be like completely not visible. So don't worry about. Let's do 15. I remember my older brother has Scarface on PS2 and one of the selling points on the back of the case was walk in and out of buildings in real time no loading. In real time, wow. I mean that would be pretty cool, so I do I kinda get it. I have a few levels like that. It's using the room system. 
in Mario 64, but I'll just rather just so that it doesn't have to be the inside of the house doesn't have to be this small. <laughs> I'm using an area transition. I really don't know how to explain area transition. It's more like it's sort of like you're loading a different level. Like there's no way you can flip from like here to here without the area transition, basically. The only reason I'm moving it to a separate location is for organization. I could just put it, I could put it, um, I could put it right here and it wouldn't matter. The only reason I'm putting it over here is because it looks nicer when I'm working on it. <laughs> Isn't the, the room invisible to the player? Yes, basically. In this room will be, yes. Not to be confused with room, what the game calls a room. An area transition is like changing levels, except it doesn't reset your coin count and stuff. <laughs> Like, for those who have actually played Mario 64, it's like going inside of the pyramid. That's a root, that's an area transition. You like enter a loading zone, but it doesn't reset any of your shit. Meanwhile, if you're in Big Boo's Haunt, going through a door and, and like you go into another room in Big Boo's Haunt, that's a room transition, which is like pretty seamless. It just makes it just unrenders everything in the other room and renders everything in the room you are currently in. Essentially. Or if anyone was watching the last rum hack stream I did, where I played Dog Collab. In Dog Collab, the circus area was a lot of room transitions. Which is really smart. Well, I know I shouldn't care too much, but how? Which one of these settings is the face orientation? Oh, that's actually exactly what I want. So red sides are not going to be, like, visible, basically. That's actually exactly what I want. I thought it was going to make the outsides blue. If there's a button to toggle this without me having to go in here every time, that'd be cool. It's good for reference, but I don't like looking at it. I don't like looking at it 24 7. Uh, for now, let me just shrink these, though. I don't want to want these in my way while I'm working. Sims style. Actually, I probably could just do this, too. And then have the rest of the invisible wall. Or use vertex coloring to make it opacity on top in the actual level. Uh, I guess for the sake of orientation, we'll have Mario come in over here. Oh, and I have a door. Where is it? There it is. I made a thing that's about the size of a door in Mario 64. <laughs> Oh, no. 
my the bullying modder modifier doesn't even work half the time. Like see it did nothing. That's why I never use it anymore. So it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's supposed to make like a cutout, which is why I just for the doors at least I manually cut them out with the fucking knife tool. I just, I just fucking eyeball it. That's not the knife. Oh no, like, it will be like a pixel off. I don't care too much. <laughs> oh, wrong button. I'll do that. There you go. Door. Zara, what would you do if you were walking to the 7 to 11 to get a big cherry slurpee when you get conked on the head by a fallen piece of wood from some construction? You're fine but now every time you see posters for ads, they play out. So for example you see a poster of a guy drinking Coca-Cola, it will play out in a loop of a guy drinking Coca-Cola and he'll try his best to sell it to you. Is this my new superpower or am I just insane? And I have no clue what to put in this house other than what you suggested. <laughs> hmm. You got conked on the head. <laughs> that doesn't quite help. I guess I'd go to the doctor. <laughs> That's concerning. Okay, let's see if I can make a fucking table. I know what you're referencing. So I'll try to make that table. Oh, I need another Mario for scale. Mario for scale found. Used a cylinder. <laughs> It'd be awful to go to a grocery store because there will be these products clamoring for your attention to buy them. Wait, all of them would? I thought it would just be the poster. <laughs> That's like the boxes too. Now the song is too fun. Hexagons, the most, the like, the least amount of shape or sides you can have, and people will believe it's a circle. Uh, where's inset faces again? It's like, I think it's like I. Yeah, it's I. I can keep sweeping here. like do a shitty model of a book and then just put a hitbox here I don't have to make a custom act or anything
So I guess it'll be like in the end. Oh, I'm in nine. So this, this room's but when you buy and use said product, the person on the box will appear death-like and constantly blame you for making them this way. <laughs> Why would you do this to me, Zara? What cruel motives do you hide from the rest of the world? <laughs> they told me to buy them. That's not my fault. Okay, how simply can I make a cube? Or not a cube. How simply can I make a book without it being too many polygons? Because I feel like I should be making a like PlayStation 2, like PlayStation 2 GameCube game with how many fucking polygons I end up accidentally using. <laughs> like it's an N64 game, I shouldn't go all out on fucking polygons. This book, this book size. That's a book if I texture it right. <laughs> Scary book. <laughs> in area two, so it only loads here. And I'll put an empty here so I remember to. If it has too many polygons, will it be super laggy? The, the Nintendo 64 can surprisingly handle quite a bit of polygons, a lot more than you would expect. So, not really, if you handle it well, but I would like to not have, I would like to avoid having to optimize, like, everything. If possible, I would like to not have to optimize everything, like, loading zones and shit. Like, remember that train I made on that other level? You know, I'll just load it, I'll just... I saved, don't worry. Remember this? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I ever showed off this train when I fully finished it. This train alone has as many polygons as an entire Nintendo 64 level. So this actually might cause lag. But do you know how hard it is to make a train that's low poly? That looks good? <laughs> This is about it. Like, I can probably reduce the polygons on these little thingies up here. Made this thing, most likely. But that's not many. I haven't removed that many polygons if I did that. And by the way, I took out the back faces on, like, nearly everything here. Or I think I did. I thought I did. I thought I did it. I don't know. It's hard to see. This might cause lag. The thing with how... What actually does cause lag in Mario 64... Is it's not necessarily the polygon count. Not with that attitude. You gotta be like Shigeru Miyamoto. What a total hack fraud. I could have programmed the entirety of Super Mario 64 and make it better while on 5 hours of sleep and several cans of Mountain Dew. I am true gamer. So like the thing is, I can... That amount of polygons, the N64, or like at least the engine, can handle. But, because what actually mostly causes lag in a Nintendo 64 game is. Uh, it's overdraw. Which means when, like. So let's say. Let's say the camera is right here. So what is happening, how the, how the Nintendo 64 does it, is it will render everything back to front, and the amount of things that like overlap each other causes lag. So this would cause more lag because of how many polygons are here than if my camera was right here. So it's only overlapping the one polygon. If that's, this, this wouldn't be enough polygons to actually cause lag, I'm just saying that's how a lot of it happens. So 
So on that train level, if anything is like in front or behind it by a lot, it will probably cause lag. But if it's like the only thing on screen, it you will it will likely be fine. I haven't tested it yet. I that level is not done enough for me to test it at all. So it will likely run fine if I'm careful with it. <laughs> Likely. Does it not let me have the entire name? Damn, uh... Check notes. And I'm gonna write it in my hack-specific note file. <laughs> object's gonna need to be subdivided. Because the engine does struggle a little bit to handle textures that are mapped on the giant objects. But that's not that's not too many flaws, but Mario for scale? just drag him over here. Why is his thing so off-center? is a future me problem. Why optimize when I could do it later? <laughs>
just grab Mario. I want to bring him up here. <coughs> He's my throat. So I'm thinking this is like a tower that he has to climb. Like the launch door doesn't like bring him to the top. It brings him to like to like a middle section. He has to go in and around it to get to the top, and then it'll be like something up there. So let's get to that. Oh hell, we couldn't even have like multiple. I have a question. If you are in room A with music, then you transition into room B with music B. How they do that? Uh, that's actually like the easiest thing ever. The area codes, or the areas, because I guess, I don't know if you're talking about areas or rooms, technically, but areas literally that you just set the music in the area. In, I don't know if you can do it with area, or with with um rooms, unless you, I could put an object in a room that, because objects can, you can set them to only load when you're in the same room as them, the same room ID. And that could just have a function that overrides the music. That is a command I've seen while I was, you know, coding shit earlier. That's probably how I would do it if I was doing rooms. But if I was doing areas, you literally just select the music right here. Oh, wait, I just realized I have that cut off for you guys. Probably because I thought it was boring. <laughs> this part of the screen that you guys can't see. That I was just pointing at, him, but I remember that cut off. So I go for me. <laughs> because like... when you were in Clown World, you were going to multiple rooms, but the music, music. remained the same. Oh, because those were room transitions. Music is usually handled by the area, which is different. Yeah, music's usually handled by the area. So if I'm just changing rooms, the music won't be affected unless I do something specific, like have an object do that, check the room, and change music. <coughs> music only reloads on an area. Bop. Which I am currently not using rooms right now. I might, because rooms are useful for some things, but there are no rooms right now in this. This launch car. This launch star can send Mario up here. I like this little area, but uh, I guess we'll start with like an area that's inside. This is too big. Slide closer to them at home again. Fine, I'll zoom in so I can slide them closer. Bruh. There, I'll just do this. Wow, it's doing a really good job at having the right one just be one. Skip. Oh, that's pretty tall. I think I'll 
I could have been taller. Around this, this side should be good. I don't know, there'll be like some sort of enemy here, I don't know yet. <laughs> Maybe some Chuckyas to ruin your day. I don't know if you could do it, but it'd be funny if in the cabin there was two Bigfoot models. One is called Bigfoot and another slightly larger model called Giant Foot. That I could technically do that. <laughs> I don't know if I could... It'd be hard to model a foot, though. <laughs> if I just did a basic Mario foot. <laughs> that could work in, like, a forest level, maybe. Uh, you know what might be fun? It take a while. But a pipe that flips everything upside down. So like you're on the opposite side of the island. Like the so what I would have to do is I was just making an area transition, and the opposite area is just the exact geometry, but I manually flipped it over. <laughs> but again, I'd probably have to wait till I'm done with all the geometry first to do that. I might do that, that might be cool. Maybe it's a thing you have to unlock too. I got the idea from the TF2's Yeti Park where they have signs about choosing the size of Yeti you want to fight. Oh, fuck, I forgot about those. For how kind of stinky that update was, the maps looked kind of funny. They, they got a lot of good jokes in there. I was just curious what would happen if I grabbed this and did that. <laughs> Terrible thing. Yeah, we could put some Chuckyas in here. In fact, there's no reason I can't just do that this very second. I'm in. Uh, uh, tones are the best for this kind of thing. Object. Chuckya. Chuckya. to fuck you up. to fuck with Mario, because why not? I don't- I haven't made any- I, I don't plan right now to put any 100 coin stars in my level. My levels, so... I guess there's no reason to kill these guys, but avoiding them would be good.
trying to think of how I want Mario to get up to the next area. It might just be like a staircase. Fuck, how do I make a staircase with not ass? That's the real fucking question. Actually, I think there's a, a snapping tool for this. One last funny idea. Having an open outhouse where if you stand in the bowl, you instantly sink into it and die like the quicksand in shifting semblance level. There, now its face lines up perfectly with the wall. Thanks, math. Very cool. <laughs> I know there is a, like some sort of snapping tool that will automatically line it up with a face, but I don't remember how to do it. I saw a video on it and I don't remember. But I'm just using the good old math method. <laughs> It'd be a funny troll moment. Imagine a streamer being like, haha, I make Mario stand in the outhouse, then when he instantly sinks and dies, they look at chat with a surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> it would be funny, yeah. <laughs> I'll write it down. That's a... I'll write it. Uh, outhouse that kills you. Parentheses. Bunny Shrek. It's in the pile. Mario for scale. I, oh, I'm in edit mode. I'm going. A little wider. It's just floating there. Make it look like it has some support. There you go. God damn it. Steve. Never mind. But. Fuck. Way too steep. I'm halfway through. Eh, 
That's good. I kinda wish I, if I, I could know if this is half. Oh well. Twitch didn't revert their change, I would play that video. Then we can have some like actual platforming here. <laughs> we can have these very precarious jumps. Ooh, wait, idea. Precarious jumps, but we also put a secret down here for no reason. <laughs> secret? Secret, secret. That's how, that's how most people do, like, war. It's like it funnels into one spot to tell you that it, it goes all square. Yeah. You should be able to see that from here. Uh, let's take a Mario POV or Mario. If I put something here, okay, I don't think you'll be able to see it too easily unless you spot it from this platform. Because you'll probably be able to see it by like panning your camera. I don't, you know, I'm not gonna make it easier right now. I was like, I don't want it to be too hard, but I'm not gonna make it easier at the moment until I have the chance to actually test it in the in engine. Because this could be fine in engine, who knows?
I could make it so it's like pole platforming here. Now Mario can jump off this edge. You can make it pretty far. Right, I want to make sure. Let's see. Fuck. I got this, I promise. I got him so bad. Keyboard controls. Oh, this. I didn't realize how steep this was. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Fucking. jump to the first platform. Snap onto that's so good. Eh, good enough. Okay. There you go. <laughs> now it matches the wall perfectly. Tomorrow I can make it to about here. up here.
do my keyboard inputs, but I hate changing it back, so. I forgot to hit pause when I was in it. It's very difficult is what I'm getting at. That's actually aligned perfectly. There we go. Test it too thoroughly. So why is it like this? Ah. I'm not gonna test it too thoroughly. I'm just gonna gonna lay it out. the whole thing? I fucking didn't. Oh, okay. Okay, I got all the sides. It's triple jump, long jump into this, wall kick like two-ish times, and then dive outwards. That's what my brain is thinking. jump on this, it's not going to go well. <laughs> Indicator that this is the end of the wall jump segment. <laughs> Oh, 
ba ba. So it's gonna be like jump, 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 or jump, and then dive outwards, and you're probably gonna land over here. Probably. <laughs> uh, potentially. And then we'll just say, let's put a fucking Chucky over here to say fuck you for no reason. <laughs> something you can get I don't know I'll think of something Also, I need to remember I can probably put a death plane like not I kinda wish death planes weren't so like massive. But like So the thing with death planes, how they work in this game, is that they kill you if you're a certain number of units above the death plane. And I kind of don't like how that is. I kind of wish it was just like what other games are, where it's a hitbox. <laughs> and if you touch it, you die. Because then I could place a really thin death plane right here. So that if you fall off this platform, you die. Or at least respawn up here. Because I'm, I'm going to be very generous with the respawns. I'm not going to be mean with them. But like, if I do that, then you'll just die if you walk over the edge slightly. Because it's massive. I could change the units or add a smaller death plane <laughs> to the game. Which isn't hard because I've added a special death plane already. Which is a death plane that only works when you're in a boss fight. <laughs> it's a death plane I added. So I could just do something like that because the death plane that I added also has a smaller hitbox on it. into the inside of the place.
I'm only gonna have it come over here so you can like see it from this platform. Actually, I think, you know, I said I wanted to have an intentional skip and I might have just accidentally did it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you like do a long jump and use the new, the Mario Galaxy spin move I added, I'm pretty sure you could just make it from here to here. <laughs> I'm I'm a hundred percent sure you probably could. this wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can make this. I'm gonna try. But the, the like the blender plugin doesn't let you use your like custom code. So I won't fully know, but I'll eyeball it. I'll eyeball. I think this is possible with my the custom moves that I have added to the game. But I don't have that here, so I'm just gonna see if it's Oh yeah, it's 100% possible. Like, if I... Uh, I'll ring the buttons. Yeah, if I like did a spin, a spin jump here, I could definitely make it to like grab this ledge at least. <laughs> but yeah, intention, accidental, intentional uh, speedrun skip that I kind of wanted. <laughs> the right thing. There you go. Excuse me. I think you could actually. I, I might move these farther apart. I think it's a bit weird that you could potentially jump from here back to the starting platform. That might be. That might be a bit too stupid. Just a tad stupid.
But this is where we can have our first, like... I guess this is technically our first branching path is right here. You know, another branching path. Because I want my level to be, like, sort of... Every level's a little open world. With, like, some, like, stars that you can go out of your way for. Like, you can continue going, like, this way. You guys can see my cursor, right? Yeah, you can. Continue going this way for you know, more star for the main star, and they're going this way for the, this star. Uh, real quick, I have to use the bathroom, and my water is fucking empty, so... I'm gonna take this opportunity. Uh, I should just put another fucking. <laughs> just put another house out here. Fuck it. Your mom wants you to have two houses. Whoop. 
being negative in the mood. Yeah, again, I might move this house outwards some more. <laughs> it's a bit close. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Launch star. We can put another launch star over here. Launch. I can't type. Okay. Imagine knowing how to type. Couldn't be me with my 90 words per minute. Actually, I don't even remember what my words per minute is any anymore. I just type and letters come out. Maybe we should have some thing here that goes down instead of up. It won't go all the way around, so this secret is still only accessible from around here, but yeah. Hopefully that doesn't count as a slope when I do this, but there's a specific type of collision that will make the ground sticky anyway that I'll probably use on that. Same on this one. This will be sticky ground so that you don't just slide down it. Ooh, we can have it face this way. And I do kind of want to keep the levels within so right now I have my ROM hack settings to use this outermost one, but if you use the innermost one, you can use a setting that gives you better collision. And so the only reason I still have it set to the biggest one is because of uh, my hub world is just slightly too large to right now, but it's really bad, so I need to fix it anyway. So, for now, I'm going to try to keep my levels within this bar, so when I get the hub world fixed, I can use the better collision uh, plugin. But that only works if I use this small box. Speaking of which, this should be higher. Like, should be a this is the death plane, by the way. I'll have it go invisible though. Death green. And I'll put it here. So don't forget. Alright, so that matter will do. Why is that going in the wrong direction? I don't know. I'll fix it later. Uh, can I select both of these at least? Okay, good.
I said this was gonna be a level about floating, floating islands, and I have one, one exact floating island. Duh. <laughs> I'll get some more in there. Cursor better. Even though there's just a button I can press to do that, I don't have to roll out, I can just do this. <laughs> tinier islands out here too. Trinket. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, wrong one. Oh, I, oh, oops. You know what I should do? I should recreate, um, Place where they time travel in chaotic cold. <laughs> and I could recreate that. <laughs> Be a little funny reference. <laughs> no one will know what it means, because I'm the only one on the fucking planet who watches that show. <laughs> to see what I'm referencing. Honestly, I could just rebuild a bunch of locations from that show, and no one will know that it's supposed to be a reference. In fact, I might just do that. I might just make a few levels that are just one-for-one -one replicas of, <laughs> of locations in that show. And no one will know. Not a single fucking person will know. <laughs> It'll be like one guy who will be like, wait a minute, I recognize this, but I don't know why. <laughs> and that'll be it. One guy. You'll be the only one. <laughs> that and everyone I tell, but no one else. Needs to be on the same geometry thingy. There you go. Bone Island, I will call this location.
first thing I want to do, real quick, is I kind of want all these to have the same thickness on the, like, the, the bezel. The bezel medoodle. It's not the bezel. Uh, once again, if there's any people who actually know Blender, I pressed a keybind and I don't know what it was that highlighted everything in orange, even when I'm not editing it. <laughs> How do I fix that? <laughs> How do I undo that? It doesn't bother me enough to look it up right now, but I would, if someone knows off the top of their head, I'd love to hear it. one. I don't know what I did, honestly. Oh, god dang it, did I suck? There. And then bring it back down. That's supposed to be negative 0.5. Should have looked it up when I was getting water. Speaking of which, I am, like, super thirsty today. nice when the thickness is a bit uniform and also they have to have a little bit of thickness because otherwise Mario might not let you grab it now we're already we're already almost at 2,000 fucking oh I think that's including Mario one second let me delete Mario okay we're not that many triangles Mario I forgot takes up like a billion triangles <laughs> But I feel like putting a King Babam up here, even though my other level is already gonna have a King Babam. Oh, King Babams. Your dad lets you have two King Babams? Yeah. I want this to be oh, Mario for scale. Mario, how tall is this? Oh, that wasn't even supposed to be a triple jump. Fuck. <laughs> origin point all the way over there.
origin to geometry. Mario, your geometry is not over there. I hate to break it to you, buddy. What the fuck? Mario, you're, why are you being difficult? And I'll just fucking... There. What if I made a, 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 a launch star that you have to, like, long jump in YOLO into? <laughs> well, I'd be up here. I suppose from here you can probably see the top of the... Yeah, you can kind of see the top of the level. We haven't used much underneath the level either. So we could... We still do have a lot of space... Like, I could put, like, a cloud layer here and have it if you jump up. Like, you can be shot under the clouds by some of the launch stars. Mm, do I have the time? Do I have the effort to put it in right now? A death barrier, right? That goes around everywhere except a small square. And one of the launch stars sends you through. And there's, like, some level down here. But I could also accomplish that with I could also just accomplish that with a putting a warp down here and have Mario get launched into the warp and teleport to a completely new area. Well, let's move everything down. Everyone down. Here, because I feel like we're not gonna use much below what we already have. And if I do, I'll just move everyone back up. It doesn't matter. So where's that setting where I can get rid of the grid? Because I have it disabled in one of my files, and I don't remember where I have it or where that is. It's probably in here. Oh, wait. That removes everything, though. Oh, there we go. It's right there. <laughs> Wait, can you turn on a Z-axis grid? Oh, it's just... Oh, Z-axis line. That's neat. I'll keep the line. I think I, I like that line. Mario 64 level can be. Like, look how fucking tall I can make this. <laughs> like, we don't have much space outwards by default. I mean, the decomp lets us go up to this far, but look how tall you can fucking go by default. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like a lot of default Mario 64 levels are also just really tall rather than really wide. <laughs> so I suppose it makes sense. What's this doing? Oh, this is supposed to be in this. Why can I still see it? There we go off, but then I glance down at nothing. <laughs> I'm a little crazy. Little cuckoo. Oh, 
Two branching, well, technically three branching paths at the start. I suppose this level's fucking have a lot of stars in it. <laughs> like, I kind of wanted to keep it vanilla-ish. With, like, Indeed. stars per level. Also, your fingers. But, is there any fucking branching paths I'm making? I feel like there's going to be, like, nine stars in this level. <laughs> we have an inside of the house. We have two launch stars. This launch star takes you over here, which will have a minimum of three stars already. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of stars in this level. Wait, I feel like as I get better, the levels are just gonna have more stars in them, because I'm just gonna have more ideas of where to put stars. Anyway. Uh, another, let's put another doodad up here. I'm gonna try to make an actual, more unique shaped island other than the generic one I've kind of been making. Nothing wrong with a little, a little generic. In fact, you know what? Uh, delete this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna uh, model the, the top and like the edge a little bit, and then I'll make the Try to make something interesting for this one.
that's not the okay, nice. I think it's barely out of the world border. Yeah, not so there we go. So these are bothering me. These are This higher or lower? I feel like lower. So I don't want you to. I might just have to put a lot of death barriers in. <laughs> Honestly. Because I want to keep this semi compact so that you can see everything from everywhere. But I don't want you just being like jumping from one part of the level to the next. I might just say fuck it and not use the smallest world border, I might go to the second one so I can spread these out a bit more. Because <laughs> these are a little... Just a little close. But that's for when I'm testing later. I'll, I'll spread things out when I'm testing. Right now it's just like, we're just designing. We're just making things. Yeah, that's bothering me now. I'm gonna look up how to unhighlight everything. Blender accidentally highlighted everything. I don't know. <laughs> I'll Google this. I don't know what how, how I did it. I did it earlier and I don't know what I did. I see literally nothing on what I googled, so I guess I'll just suffer. that I wrote down, but I'm going to make a few levels based on some of my friends and their likes, and then I went to check my notes on what I took from them, and none of them would fit the stage, so I was, I, no inspiration there. I feel like I want to get warmed up a lot more before I do that, or before I use, like, those ideas. Also, a few of them still have to give me their ideas, so... Anyway, let's put another house here because I like putting random houses in my Mario 64 hex. You know, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm kind of tempted to make this the hub world. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't this be a fantastic layout for the hub world, ignoring the enemies? Like, if I just deleted these enemies, wouldn't this make like a pretty neat hub world? <laughs> like. The hub world I am working on is does have some similar things in it. It has houses that lead to levels. It has, you know, like parkour to get to to get to um, other levels like this. <laughs> like this is nearly identical to another to a piece in the hub world I'm working on. And as I make this more, I, my temptation to make just scrap the last hub world and be like, this is it. This is the hub world now. <laughs> I put like levels here, <laughs> like level entrances here. It's growing. It, on it honestly is growing as a desire. <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about it. Mm -hmm. Bird 
Rage strong. <laughs> I'll think about it. For now, I'll just build. Because the way I build hub more the way I build a hub world is about the same way I build a normal world. <laughs> Snapping is my best friend. Nothing can ever separate me from vertex snapping. You'd have to like say vertex snapping like killed my family and everything I love for me to dislike vertex snapping. <laughs> oh good. It's like the most useful snap in the fucking in the entire fucking program. times the size I thought this location was. Before I dropped the Mario for scale in here. Oh my god, I think it's smaller. At least the building. Why we have Mario for scale? <laughs> Wait, why is Mario also in the ground a little bit? Get the fuck out of the ground. Clip. There we go. Good enough. Like the rest of these, the rest of these islands are properly scaled because I already, I already Mario for scaled them. <laughs> I already had the comparison, but this one, this one island, I did, I was not comparing at all. Mini Mario, Baby Mario. Why is my fucking? There we go. I'm gonna adjust my focus point. I, there is a keybind to like set the focus point to where your mouse is, but I don't remember what that keybind is. Yeah, I'm all good up. What's that keybind? Blender set focus, uh, set object focus. That is the focus point is where you zoom in and shit. Period on the numpad. Yeah, there we go. Numpad, thank you. Google. 
You're a boingrish. So how you doing, Sylvian? How you doing? Is that Sylvian as in like elves? The, the last part of your name? So I'm pretty sure in like some fantasy thing that I can't remember the name of right now. Sylvian, Sylvians are like elves. Unless I'm making that up. Possible. Zara's tutorial on how to make a fucking building. How to make a nice house. Ah, oh, fuck, I already fucked up. I always forget step one when I'm making houses. Step one is... This. Step two, grab knife tool. House. Works every time, baby. Especially when you need to be low poly. <laughs> One of my other houses on the other level is way too many polygons. I, I made it like too real. <laughs> Oh, it's also a Roman name. Oh, just... eh, close spelling to a apparently Lord of the Rings thing. Sylvan, no extra. I mean, that's what I was thinking of. Lord of the Rings. One letter off being a Lord of the Rings thing. But apparently it's also a name, so... A real-world name. The way you have it spelled, I mean, is a real-world name. Check everything has the right face orientation on it. Oh, that doesn't over there. I'm so glad I randomly saw this in a different tutorial and that it has now made my life easier. Basically, red is the back side, blue is the front side. And especially for fucking Mario, I want everything to basically be blue. But sometimes they end up red and I don't notice them until I'm playing the levels and they clip through things. <laughs> so glad I saw that in a random fucking tutorial. A completely unrelated tutorial, too. He was just like, hey, did you know you could do this? And then he just did that. And I was like, you can do that. Blew my fucking mind. Blew my chroma. Oh, has it been two hours already? What do you mean I've been spending two hours on this? What the fuck? I glanced down at the time, it's been two hours. I feel like I've done nothing.
more in here. I think that's face project, line rotation, center. Oh, that's close enough. Oh, I think it's set to the center of the of the origin point. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, uh, local. There we go. I did it. I still have no closest. Perfect. Do a little in just to Boolean modifier. Please Boolean modifier, please work. It's half the time you don't fucking work. Of course it didn't work. What the f the Boolean modifier is like I'm told to use it because it will work, and then it just doesn't. <laughs> Oh wait, it did work this time. Never mind. Kinda. Wow, it worked this time. That's fucking rare. It never works. a random extra. The bullying modifier sucks sometimes. A random edge here. Oh, why is it like that? Let's, let's, let's make this house more interesting than just cube. Ooh, idea, 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 idea. Brain word, there we go. Save every three seconds because it's fucking blunder. Did that reached the edge, it did. So wacky and, and zing and cool. Okay, this won't look good at the moment, but it will. I'll. It'll eventually look good. I want it to like go off the edge of the island and maybe like sit on its own island. But I recognize that will. It'll take a while to make it look good. It's it's the fact that it's thick, so it needs to be like just a, a like a platform that goes out instead of the whole thing. So I'm gonna dissolve these vertex vertices. Okay, that's not dissolved. Oh, I have to use all. It's 
fucking combine. Maybe model like a roof for this as well. I think I'll do it now. Oh, so I know this is most likely going outside the level boundaries. I'm just deal with that <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Going way up there. scale. That's fine. Change Mario. some sort of like a uh, billboard texture to the sides to make it like a wall but not now that's pretty good how many triangles are we at minus mario we're still wait oh my we're still not using that much i felt i don't know i'm not good at just gauging triangles by looking at them but i feel like i've used more than I normally do, but we're under average right now for what I use. Jungle count doesn't match, matter too much in Mario 64, but I still like keeping an eye on it. <laughs> it's more like if the triangles are bunched up into one location, it's a problem. So you have to go inside to go do this.
Why is that rotated at such a weird angle? Yeah, or I'll just object. There you go. Now one, now one of them is correct. the closest you know the real sad part about this song is <laughs> you know, maybe I should have a counter because I have a counter for complaining about Xenoblade 2 maybe I should have a counter for complaining about Steven Universe <laughs> <laughs> the Steven Universe complaint complaint counter. Because <laughs> I do complain about that one a bit. <laughs> the real sad part about this song is that this char the character who sings this song literally joined a war for some pussy and then that pussy fucking dumped her. It feels bad, man. You went... <laughs> like, you became an actual terrorist for pussy. And then that pussy said, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> feels bad, man. It's so sad. That's <laughs> the real sad part. And it, the show, like, the show makes that relationship really fucked up, but the writers don't realize that they made the relationship really fucked up. I think that's, like, that's that's one of the reasons I hate the show. They they make, like, a lot of the things really fucked up, and then they just, like, they, the writers don't realize they did. So it's like, okay. <laughs> So that character was manipulated into joining a terror, like a terrorist organization for. Because well, the character who sings that song is a slave who wants to bend her uh, slave owner. I know, really, really fucking weird. But don't ask me. Uh, and they, um, so they joined the war because they were given the option to not join it. Oh, but the, my slave master might, you know, you know, give me some, you know, head. <laughs> so maybe. And they do, and they're like, ha, no, dumbass. I'm not, not gonna do that. Sad. Sucks for that character. <laughs> And, yeah, the show does not recognize how, like, kind of fucked up that is. That it's a slave who wants, who's in a sexual relationship with their slave owner. They, just, they, they don't acknowledge that. Like, ever. <laughs> Doesn't happen. Really weird show. The strangest of shows. Another house. I don't like this house long. Oh. Thunder, are you crashing? What are you being weird right now? Thunder. Oh, I'm not tapping tab, that's why. I thought I was tapping. I was tapping caps lock. <laughs> Wait. I'm 
one's crooked. No, that's aligned. That's aligned. Our brain and thing is just playing tricks on me. I think it's a little crooked still, but whatever. It shouldn't matter. Hopefully. Anyway, I want to give it a little island to be on. Hmm. Grab these. Center. I probably should rotate this to match the rotation of the house. What is the rotation of the house? That works, but uh, wait, uh, what is 360 divided by like 12? A secret back here because I like putting secrets just barely out of sight because I'm a sneaky little bastard.
be easier if I probably spread this bit out. Buzzes back to back. Oh, two people went live. That's why. If I went live like exactly two minutes ago, because it takes like like on the hour. I shall lurk in one of their chats. Right, lurking. Set the origin point here. That's where. It, no, I think. It, no, I don't think. I don't think it symmetrizes on the origin point. I think it symmetrizes on your cursor, which is this little dotted circle. Let's select these, and then symmetrize. So that's not quite. Okay, no, it is on the on the three on the origin. We're gonna move the origin here. Now we're gonna symmetrize. fucking the other way. Is <laughs> that so hard? just a hole like that.
Not if I snapped to edge and then did this and like lined up the things. So. how it is now. It will look weird. And that is the sacrifice I am willing to make. That's not the one. Uh, that explained a little bit. That explains a lot, actually. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, now it'll probably just work. That's probably what was fucking with me. Nah, that's weird. Nope, I think it was just fucking with that. Never mind. Just fucking with the one thing. <laughs> You, you, you know, throw yourself in there and something will happen. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. In fact, if it is hard, that makes no sense. Should be on this island. On the little island. Mm. 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 Iggy Arms. Uh, I 
guess we can work on this now. The making the bottom of this island look like an island. Let's get up some references of floating islands. Cool floating islands. That does exist in Mario 64, so it's not like, it's not something I have to do, necessarily. I just have to figure out how it is done. And I could do like a cool waterfall. And we have like a little like pond going through the center. Again, the more I work on this fucking world, the more I want it to just kind of be the hub world. <laughs> it kind of just would be a good hub. Would this not be an awesome hub world instead of like an actual level? The urge to make this the hub world is growing as I work on it. <laughs> I'm gonna ask like some of the people I. Hold on, I'll sh I'll just show the current hub world. So the current hub world that I have. The reason why it's so shit is because I've been like, it's mostly been my testing. World. Like, this is a test object, this is a test object, this is a test object, this is a test object. The only real thing that has effort put into is this house, which isn't done. This was like the- right here is the first 3D model I made. <laughs> well, I was just trying to look. Well, first 3D model with the intention of putting in a world. Uh, this part's actually pretty good, I like this part. It's like... An entrance, like a few secret entrances. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's shit. It's this shit. Right? This is like nearly unsolvable. Like this house, which is the most recent addition, because it's a replacement of the house that was here before, is like the only salvageable piece. So, you know, this that. So I think I might just make this the world. I just like probably this idea. I might just make this the hub. You guys can hear my music already. Yeah, you can. I'm not just singing to nothing. This, ah, this kind of would be a cool hub world. This parkour is a bit weird, but who cares? <laughs> like, this would be, like, these things would be, like, entrances to, like, levels. Like, this wouldn't be, like, a secret or anything. It would be, like, a level entrance. And part of the revamp for the hub world I wanted to do was make it, like, that area from... The only real reference... Because this, this kind of trope appears in a lot of things, but I... Currently, the only one that appears, the only trope of it that appears in my head is the Bayonetta one. Let me just get the picture up. With like all the floating crystals and shit. I don't know, just floating mystical island with floating crystals and portals. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is the Bayonetta one. Yeah, something like that. And I could just easily do that here. I could just, like, put crystals everywhere. Because <laughs> that was the revamp I was going to do for the hub world. Yeah, this might just be the hub world. Anyway, let's get to fixing this part.
Love the same. than it actually is. That's pretty good. I like that. Without getting more high poly. I like that. I want to rewatch Yu Gi Oh! GX. Maybe I'll make that one of the next watch parties in the Discord. Parody of the Yu Gi Oh! GX sub. wants to do something I just can't they say to cipher it right now
Well, I didn't expect to do that. There isn't... I don't know if it's obvious what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a pawn, so I'm trying to make a shape and then using the boolean tool. Perfectly hexagonal. Great idea. I just grab this. Wait. Wait. Ooh. Oh, wait. Then I just move these faces inwards by the same amount. It's like a rupee. Ruling if you have the right rupees. Can you look up with these two? I hit. I hit no. Excellent. Oh, it actually worked. It, it didn't look like it was working when I was like. Alright, I'm this weird extra courtesy you got. Okay. This isn't symmetrical, I don't know why, but it should. <laughs> oh, I wish I could make wireframe mode a bit brighter, just so it's a lot easier to see on stream, because I do prefer working in wireframe. <laughs> How visible is that, anyways? Oh. I lost the. There we go. Very visible through Twitch. I might just, like, be some Twitch bit and stuff. But it's a lot more clear on my screen than is when it goes through Twitch and shit. Which is why I work in solid in this mode. Also, I guess adding a water here is my excuse to make the water controls good. Which, surprisingly, it's harder to make the water controls bad than it is to make the water controls good. And by default, they're bad. And so, instead of like, it's not necessary. like, Ninten it's not Nintendo's fault necessarily that the water controls are bad. Because they're bad in, 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 the, in Mario 64, it's, they're bad on purpose. Because, because, you know, Mario 64, it's the launch title. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, it's the launch title. It's the it's the game that has to show off how powerful the Nintendo 64 is. 
So the reason why the the stick controls are so shit, or the water controls are so shit in the in Mario 64, is because uh, it's to show off the like how the analog stick works on the Nintendo 64 controller. That's essentially why they're shit. Because it's easier to make them good than it is to make them bad. Which is why so a, a, a good handful of hacks in Mario 64 just have good swimming controls. So I just have to go in and you know, do that. <laughs> just change the code. Which is usually press A to go up, B to go down, joystick to turn in circles. <laughs> that triple instead of mash A and point the joystick in the direction you want to go up or down like you're a plane or something anyway I said that because I'm putting water here so it's an excuse to put water or to, to fix the controls on my hack <laughs> So many unnamed fucking objects over here. What are they all? Big house. I island. Mini I island. This one's the house. Mini island house. And this one I know is this. It. Which I think I'm going to reuse this object real quick. To make the pathways going off. To make the waterfalls. Looks like it worked. <laughs> Kinda fucked up this part, but it's a simple fix. Dissolve faces. There you go. And I'll have a bridge. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. One second. I'll make this smaller.
That's a lot better. And again, it fucks up the inside for some reason. I don't know. Good. Kinda looks like a Pokemon fighting arena. <laughs> like some sort of Pokemon badge. Let me look at it from here. Ready to 3D model a, a bridge. Like a nice wooden bridge. Okay, now my I now I know the place is fucking looping. One second. I am on shuffle with like 300 songs. All right, so what I'm going to do, because this is going to be a model I'm going to probably reuse a bunch of times, is... I'm not... Because it's weird modeling at, like, an angle. That's why this has been so, like, weird to work with, because it's not, like, you know, symmetric. It's not... It's not a 90 degree... It's not divis It's not a 90 degree thing. Whatever. Words. So what I'm going to do... Death plane. Turn that off. I'm gonna model it like, over here at like the origin, and then I'm gonna re because I'm gonna probably reuse this bridge model a handful of times. I stole Mario for scale. Mario for scale. That's good scale. <laughs> Already good. So I'm gonna want it like. One, two, three. I could kind of do this in like five ish. Subdivide. Uh, I'm sure I can. Um, can I do it on these edges? Because I don't want it subdividing the tops. Alright, All right, that's 25. Extra lines, that's why it was weird. Now it's five segments. Glad I noticed that before I was a fool. Is 
not to go too high of like the meter. Yeah, that already looks like pretty good. <laughs> but like just the general shapeage. to highlight all those. Did I turn on proportional editing by accident? What? Why is it? That shouldn't be moving when I do this. I turned on proportional editing somewhere. Where the fuck is that? do that before. Usually once I turn it off, it's off. <laughs> what did it knock it off? <laughs> be on somewhere to auto turn back on what the fuck in here it has to be in one of these 
if it's auto turning itself back on. <laughs> I don't want it on. this issue. Usually I flick it off and it stays off. <laughs> but it keeps turning back on. And apparently mirror the mirror option also just turns it back on. Turn both of them off then. That they're both turning themselves back on. Why? Let that did that fix it. Can it not? Nope, that that's not working. The what did I do? How did I accidentally set this to auto turn back on? Oh, here we go. It's up here. I must have accidentally pressed O when I was pressing I earlier. I forgot that's the shortcut that turns it on up here. Okay, there we go. Fucking hell, that's annoying. You think it, tapping it off would turn it off, though? <laughs> you think. Anyway, the whole reason I did that was so I could do this. I can set these to be the same, the right thickness all the way through. Am I on? Oh, I'm on edge edit. Or edge snap. Vertex snap, please. That was annoying when it lasted. And I'll just use um, uh, symmetry to do this other side once I have everything the way I like it. Which is right now, actually, so let's do that. Uh, should be negative y to y is the symmetry I should want. Negative y to y. Well, that's not quite supposed to happen. Oh, I know why it's happening now, but easy fix, easy fix. Faces then. Oh my God, there we go. It's beautiful. It's a bridge. Now I just need like the right weird railing. Real quick, let's just see how this would look by just without railing or supports. How is this? How would this look? Wow, it'd be beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so I'm so glad I googled what the that object to focus button is. My god, is that useful? Like, if I just want to be like, I want to edit on that, and now I now I spin around it easier, so I had to manually do it. 
So glad I looked that up. shift to be correct like facing the same way as everything else but I kind of like it like this Why is it crashing? Oh, why are there two Marios? <laughs> well, I'm gonna screenshot this. I'm gonna send that to the Discord. The Mario hacking Discord, I mean. to be long so that they can like go into the ground and I don't have to edit it per model or per times I use this model. shortcut to hide something because control H seems to brings up a menu that it's for hiding collections. How do I hide an object? Blender uh, shortcut for hiding object. Shift H? Oh, let's hide everything but just H. I was doing shift H. I'm dumb. Just normal H. That is doing shift. I'm learned. I was gonna put one of these poles per thing, but I feel like it's too much with how small it is. So I think it's just gonna be three poles. So like one right here. What? 
set origin to the D cursor. Then duplicate. There you go. Now it has the same like off that. And these can be the same object. So join. No, it just cut these faces in half. Simple fix. And I'll use a transparent texture for this. It will look nice. Yeah, I probably should have waited to symmetrize until I finished this part. Tell me to do something, then I'll just forget. This. Uh, it shouldn't matter, because this will be a transparent thingy. So it shouldn't matter which one's blue and which one's red, but I think red should be on the outside. I think you're more likely to clip through it if you're on the red side. If it's a billboarded texture, at least. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Oh. Oh, I'm slugging. 
Oh yeah. Hopefully like these and resymmetrize all this. <laughs> X to negative X. Or that one first, that works, I don't care. bothers me so much when there's extra faces, but it really shouldn't, because it doesn't matter. But it matters to my soul. Perfect. We have a bridge now. This needs to be textured and shit. Your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Now I have to combine these two objects. Boolean actually like worked perfectly without any flaws. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to happen at all. It just, it just worked. <laughs> the fuck? Now they're one object. Which I will copy and put in my asset collection, which is what I need. Just copy and paste right and shit. And now we have a bridge. It also has long spikes, so it will be guaranteed to stick into the ground. If it doesn't rip. <laughs> Someone have a good sleep. And I really, like, did not leave any room for failure on this. <laughs> or for, like... I know I measured it and I needed so many meters, but I could have <laughs> fucking extended it a little bit. Jeez. Well, I will. God damn.
And getting these things to fucking perfectly in line is like impossible. Okay, I think that's it. There we go. Dude, it's barely big enough to fit in there. Wait, what? Wait, is this fucking thing rotated? Why is this one not touching, but this one is? The only explanation would be like if it was tilted like this. But I don't think it is. It's not. So then why? Are these different height? They couldn't be. I didn't do anything to them. Are these platforms different heights from each other? Okay, now why is it doing that? Oh, because I have rotation on, that's why it's being fucked on down. That, no, that, that glitch is my fault. Oh my god, I think this part was just like slightly lower. Have a pretty bridge and two Mario's floating in the corner. It's magnificent, I tell you. Mm, I kind of want to add like a little overhang on it, but I think I'll do that later on the other model. to set this back to the default rotation and then turn it back when I actually want to set everything up. Uh, probably would be easier. Oh well. I wonder how you set up a waterfall. Because waterfalls do exist in base Mario 16. It might just be like... I have to just load up Tall Tall Mountain. B, how it works. Because I don't know if the water. 
waterfall in Tall Tall Mountain is actually water? It might just be like an illusion of water. <laughs> like I don't think it has any of the effects of water. I think it just might be air with like, like basically just a piece of geometry that looks like water but is completely intangible. That's what I'm trying to say. this. You can make a HUD. That's neat. Tools. You can add a water box. That's probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think that's going to be the hub world. <laughs> it's not going to be a level anymore. It's the hub. texture on the death barrier. That'd probably work in that. It's probably way too high. Oh. Well, I've been checking water. I'm gonna use that real quick again. Do you guys know Chaotic, the game and show I talk about a lot? Would, any, would anyone here be interested if I held like a... Uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's the word? Draft tournament. Would anyone be interested if I held one of those? Obviously since like I'm the only one probably in my community that even knows how to play or what it is. I would be teaching everyone. I'd be fine teaching everyone. Would anyone be interested in a draft tournament? Like, you know, where a draft where, like, like a, it, a card game. So, like a card game draft where there's a pool of cards. And then everyone takes turn picking a few cards to add to their, like, pool that they can make a deck out of. And I would decide on the pool. I think it would be pretty fun. I wouldn't really have a reward, except maybe I... Maybe I'd be willing to give out, like, a free commission on the winner. But I also don't want there to just be, like... I don't want the reward to be too good. <laughs> because... Then it, then it, like... Then people will feel bad not knowing how the game works. And getting owned by, like... 
someone who did figure out how the game works. Right? Took me nothing for like the first one. Just so people can like learn. But other than that, would anyone be interested in that? these launch stars is oh, unpleasant. It was that. And since I might make this the hub world, I might make these launch stars like clear and like not usable until you have a certain number of stars as like a sort of star barrier. Like not many. I'm not gonna do it too hardcore. Like, just something like, you have to play the tutorial level before you can access at least this one. Since this is the hub world, I might put this platform in the middle. I might, like, slide it over here. That you can see everything floating around you. Well, this, this world's gonna be so big. I think I will just give in and use the second size instead of the third, instead of the, you know, whatever. Words. Just designing right now. Ah, uh, what else can we add? So we didn't f quite finish this area. Because uh, the point was to be able to get to the top of this. Yeah, I thought I'm making a whole fucking Mario game. Not even like just a mini hack. I think I am. We might put like doors here now that this is a. I guess we can remove the check, yes. I'm gonna populate this place fucking with every type of NPC I can imagine. And then I'd have to 3D model a Luma, which, given, wouldn't be too hard. They're just little, like, balls of happiness. Because I might go full Mario Galaxy on this and just be like, this is my Mario Galaxy heck. No. This is probably... I think I'm set on making this the hub world. <laughs> Could put, like, a launch star here that sends you outwards. I kind of... Oh, there's so much I want to do now. Like, I kind of want to program a camera. A custom camera for this area where, like, if you stand on a certain spot or whatever, it, like... Gives you like this camera angle of the entire level. Or the entire hub. So you can just see what there is. God, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be awesome. Mm, dude, I'm getting too excited to make this. See, let's uh another island? Another island. Do another island.
I might make like some sort of bubble around every section that like if you're if you're not in like a launch star state it will just teleport you back to the land god i have so many fucking ideas right now dude <laughs> too many ideas my brain expanding I could probably recreate some of the things I made in my hub world, but you know, do them better. And put them on little islands. Urgh. Dude, I'm like I'm actually like excited now. Now that I'm like the hub world like looks good. So like I kinda just wanna keep doing shit. Like I kinda wanna I'm just getting ideas now. this be like a, a dark area because you're just coming under someone else some other island big vine I wish I had more people who made like, hacks to talk to. It would be, I'd love to work on this with someone. Slide it back down. for scale. Two Mario's again. And um, constraints, right? Track to. Not that way. There we go. Can I 
copy this onto... Yeah, I'll just blur. It didn't take too long to do. now when I duplicate these and I make a new one, it will, well it should, it should point in the direction of, okay it's not, shit, it should be pointing towards the center. It's not track that I'm looking for. Track, look. Oh, wait, yeah. Here we go. It's this. Harvest rotation to, to do this, but This is it. It's a locked track that I'm looking for. Or, yeah, okay. Okay. Lock track Y and Z. At least I think. Let's just make it Y. platform. Yeah, that just makes setting things up easier. Now if I move this, it rotates! Yay! will be the death plane, but it's definitely going to be where I put the clouds. Yeah, something I'm definitely going to be doing is like some sort of box that if you leave it, unless you're in like a sling star or a launch star or whatever. Oh, 
I keep calling it Sling Star because I feel like it sounds better, but Sling Stars are the tiny ones, Launch Stars are the big ones. And I made the big ones. So. some more parkour challenges in. I know it's the hub world, but I kind of like it when the hub world have, like, many parkour challenges to, like, get from point A to point B. So I think I will add some to these islands to, like, give them some intrigue. And we still have a lot up here to do. Like, we have a lot of space to top and bottom. I mean, on the bottom, because then I might make it too easy. No, 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 I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I'm overthinking. Am I doing it from this way? Oh. Wait, brain, brain, please stop stuttering in my mind. I 
sure how much longer I will be going, but as long as I can, hopefully. snapping on. The glitched out Mario, it's him. See? Okay, the top one doesn't affect collision. That's good. I want. I kind of wanted to slide on this, but it didn't work. So what I kind of want to happen is you wall jump, you slide, and then you. And I can make it a super slippery surface, but I'm just not in Blender by itself. The idea is that you wall jump, then you start sliding, then you jump to get some more height, you wall jump again, and you'll get somewhere. That's the idea here. You can almost make it up there. I kind of want to enter another room here, though. It's a giant mansion, baby. Thank you. 
a song. <laughs> so silly. I think I'll go to the top of the hour, then we'll play F-Zero. this into a slope so you can't fucking oh yeah it always looks better to just do this just do this turn to a slope that's always better always looks a little better backwards I guess I'm just making noises and moving my cursor around, but it makes sense in my head. I'm, I'm imagining the the physics in my brain. It makes sense in my mind, don't worry. I'll try to explain it out loud for this one. So slide, jump, which gives you quite a bit of height. Wall kick, wall kick, and then I added the spin move from Mario Galaxy. You spin move backwards onto this. That's essentially what I'm trying to do in my head. And turn this to a slip. And I don't think there's any other way. As long as I turn these both into slopes, I don't think there's any other way to cheese this. <laughs> I could add a room here where, like, you jump kick backwards onto this into a little hole here <laughs> perhaps and i just like it when the hub worlds have have uh platform minor platforming challenges to get to the level it's fun it's fun it's, i love it This creates extra vertices that I have to dissolve.
no, you won't be able to make that jump. I don't have to worry about it. And I might make some of this like a one-sided wall. Or just use rooms. So that when you're in here, it like you can see through the wall and be whatever. Hard to explain. explain it without it making no sense at all. That's what happens whenever I'm doing a creative process type of thing. give this like tower a cool name. My, my brain is thinking of something with like gear in it. Like a like a synchro gear or something. Uh needs a cool name. I feel like this specific tower needs one. something over here. But we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Also put some down here, some little rotating bits. Oh yeah, I did say I wanted to add some sort of stairway down here to more rotate bits. Now that the goal isn't just strictly to go upward. Not consider that. First.
I think with the hub world, I should learn how to do cameras, like custom camera stuff. Like, you know, like, the areas in games where, like, the camera stays outside, but you go Mario is the king? I got that for this spot. <laughs> Just like you just teleport. That's not too hard to make. Just uh, you teleport up here now. what I want on the top of here. Like, maybe it should be like the final level. I don't know. Maybe it should just be somewhere below. I don't know. I don't know. Those are very obvious and whatnot. But there's um teleport floors like on the infinite staircase that just move you instantly without a noise or anything like that. But like, that's what's gonna be here. It's gonna be like that. Yes. Um, and I guess you'll appear somewhere like over here or something. Keep it aligned. Ooh, come on. Right angle. There's gonna be a cage on this part, so you can't just like somehow jump from here to there. You'd have to like do a triple jump, I think, and get really lucky if you wanted to try getting up here anyway without the intended method, but whatever. Give me a there's gonna be a, a, a wall blocking you. It's not there yet.
Now we want to add July Dodge. Too much effort into something that no one will notice except for me. Too much. I gave up on trying to do the thing I was trying to do.
I'm trying to make the exact same size because it would bother me if it wasn't the exact same size. And then I figured, ah, it's not worth it. So, yeah. It was not worth the effort. I'm cutting that up, don't worry. It's for programming purposes. Yeah, then we could have some sort of like weird parkour frame. Get Mario's ass in here. Oh, he clubbed through it. That can only mean one thing. That these walls are not facing Yep. Oh, no. Faces. Well, oh, only half of them are like red. That should be all of them. Oh, in here. Facing side. These two are right on purpose. Ignore those. All right, should be good. There. Uh, now I can turn that off. I think that's enough work for today. Uh, we're gonna swap to F zero now. Save my fucking work. I should check out my statistics. What do you think? How bad do you think my statistics will be if I looked at them? Right, if anyone has a raid target, I would be happy to hear it. Though I do have someone in mind, so if no one says anything, it will be fine. I have someone. I probably should have waited until the ad was over. Okay, now that the ad's over. <laughs> If anyone has a raid target in mind, I'd be happy to hear it, but if not, it's fine. I have a target today. Oh my god. One of my rivals has won 99 plus games in first place. Bro, I don't think I'm beating him. In fact, I think he's going to get first. <laughs> not that good game, goddamn. I haven't even won a single race. For me, my win condition for being happy is getting like top 20. That guy's won 99 games. I've won zero. <laughs> Look, see, he's in first already. How is he already in first? How? I don't know. He's doing something I'm not, that's for sure. 
fuck. Fuck, dude. That was such a bad crash. It fucked me so bad. Let up on this turn. <laughs> Fuck that one guy in particular. Yeah, I'm not. That guy's just gonna win. <laughs> what do I do to stop him? Nothing. That's. The answer is literally nothing. I cannot stop him. Fuck. I overturned. I always overturn when I'm fucking panicking. I spun into him. You tell me that's not enough. I'm mad. Am I ahead of it? Okay, I'm ahead of two rivals. I don't know about the third. But I know I'm not ahead of the fourth, because the fourth one's in fucking first place. Uh, no, I'm behind two. But I'm ahead of two, so that's all, I, that, that's all that matters. And I was behind two. Wait, what? I beat all- wait. Ow! How did the guy with 99 wins get behind me? Where is he? Did he die? Oh my god, he died! He got 90th place! The guy with... The guy with 99 wins got 99th place. He died. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> wow. Sucks, man. Feels, feels bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. It sucks. Nice. A bit of trolling. Is that the same guy? Oh no, his car looks. Oh no, that might be the same guy. It looks like the same car. Same guy who died last round. Blowing on this turn. Haha, <laughs> bumped you dingus. I saw you trying to bump me. Fuck. If you tap the, like, drift button at all while you're turning, it makes you fucking- or not the drift, the strafe button while you're turning. You just fucking- going on fucking nonsense drift. <laughs> doesn't even make any, like, it doesn't make much mechanical sense that pressing to turn inwards while I'm also, like, pressing strafe right while I'm also turning right, this feels like it should make me turn right better, 
not turn right worse. That's how it works. And pressing the opposite does the same thing. Like, it doesn't make much sense with, like, what should happen. Like, when I think about it. Please don't bump one. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Damn. Like, like pressing either strafe button while you're making a turn, no matter what strafe you're going and what turn you're making, it makes you do an outside drift, which in any racing game, an outside drift is just not good. You want an inside drift so that you can waste less time turning. I might pop into a, like a, a single player practice thing just to show you like what I mean. Like if anything, it should make me turn better. Because like that's that's what I keep thinking like, oh, I'm not as good as turning as everyone else. Let me try doing that. But then I do that and it makes me turn worse. Like I, I honestly do not get it. Is that the same guy again? I wonder if how matchmaking works. Like, maybe it's not all bots when it runs out. Maybe what's happening is, like, the matchmaking that takes a long time is for the higher-ranked people. And it's just trying to find high-ranked people. And then once the time runs out, it just fills it with randoms and low rank people. I wonder if that's how it works. Because I don't think they fill the lobby with 80 bots every time. That doesn't... That doesn't feel like it would happen. And barely any games when they fill a lobby with bots do they use, like, realistic names or names that, like... Like, I think when Fortnite first introduced bots, like, four, eight, five years ago, they said they would use, like, random players' names that, like, random account names so that you can't tell it's a bot. But you can tell it's a bot because <laughs> they play bad. And I barely any like actual company does that when it comes to making bots for their game. So I doubt I shouldn't have boosted it when I did. So I doubt that's what Nintendo does. I doubt they just take random names that log on and just fill the empty spaces with them. Especially since I don't know. I don't know actually. Maybe they do have a really good bot and the bots you play against during the tutorial are just purposefully really bad. Go, good turn, good turn, I'm awesome. I almost hit that red bumper, and if I hit that red bumper, I think I insta died. Ooh, I'm so good. Haha, <laughs> you don't get to go on the ramp, idiot. That was so fucking close. I almost hit that red bumper. Dick. <laughs> he didn't even have a reason to bump me. <laughs> he just did. He's just a dick. Eh. I bumped someone in return. I don't know if this is the guy who hit me, though. Okay, if I hit... If I hit a single red guy, I'm dead. Never mind. I'm good. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Nine. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'll pop into a single player race to show what I mean. Practice. Just go on mute city. Okay. So here's what I mean. So if I start strafing and I turn at the same time. Wait. 
Huh? Now it's not doing the exact thing I said it does. What? Now it's doing the exact thing I expect it to do. What the fuck? What? What? Huh? It works different in single player? Excuse me? Because that's not what was happening. Hold on, what happens if I... I have been run, wondering what happens if I turn around. Do I just die? Or does it let me? It just lets me? Oh, I thought it would, like, kill me if I went in reverse. Kind of funny. Yeah, what the fuck? I was trying to do this, and instead it was sending me to, like, the fucking Shadow Realm. So weird. Okay, so now from this testing, it does feel like I want to... It does feel like I want to, um... Press strafe in the opposite direction, I feel like gives me the better results. Yeah. I feel like pressing strafe in the opposite direction feels like I get better results. But I'll try that. I wasn't voting. Ah! Rip. I wasn't looking. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I love drifting right in front of someone and then bumping them back. <laughs> uh. Oh, I didn't do the thing I mentioned. No, what? I lost all my speed. And now I boosted when I probably shouldn't have. Uh, even then, I'm not sure about doing that. Oh, I bumped that guy forward. I probably shouldn't have. I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure how to. Which is like the better turning method? this to fully heal me now go no i'm behind all my rivals <laughs> i never look at the thing on the left but i barely saw it that time and it said i was behind everyone okay i'm ahead of one I have about two boosts in me. 
that I can safely do without dying. Unless I hit a fucking dead bumper. Like that one. Yeah, but I took damage trying to get it, so it didn't matter. I, that was so risky. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That was stupidly risky. Only the one, damn. I was playing that race trying to experiment with the... Oh, I got 17th. I didn't even do that bad. I was trying to experiment with the turning on that one. I don't know. It's not intuitive. The, the fucking, like, inside turning and all that. <laughs> anyway, here's the raid message again for those who don't have it. Please make sure to grab it for the raid. Fucking god, I, con I, I always have to concentrate during this spot during that starting part. <laughs> Ooh, I'm playing a fucking dangerous game. I'm gonna die. I lose. I used my spin. Dangerous. I'm terrible. Now I don't have any boost for this part of the race. So people were bumping me outside of the fucking healing zone. <laughs> Got like 80 people past me. Great. Haha, <laughs> get fucked, random guy. I should have saved a boost. Yellow. What? How is that not enough? I grabbed so many sparks there. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> I picked up like 80 sparks and it filled my spark meter like by two. Yo, let's go. Fucking barely made it here. Damn it. Thanks. Dang it, I was trying to kill that guy, but he spun at just the right moment to take zero damage from it. <laughs> Ooh, three people, though. All right, let's see what we got. Nine, 12. Nice. Cool matches. Too bad I only get one bounty thing. Yeah, I appreciate him for showing up today. We are gonna raid Simon. Please grab the raid message. Here's the raid message if you don't have it. Here is the Discord if you're not in the Discord. And good night.